Signpost one, take one. Hello, my name is Kendall, and today we are going to be talking about signpost one, contrasts and contradictions. Contrasts and contradictions in a nonfiction text are when there is information in the text that is different from what was said earlier. Now, I know you may be asking, but Kendall, how do we know when there's a contrast or contradiction? And I understand, which is why I'm here to help. Some words that you can find to locate contrasts and contradictions are words like although, otherwise, but, and alternatively. And there are also many others. Now, when we see a contrast or contradiction, we need to stop. Don't, don't get that close, just... Anyways, we need to stop when there is a contrast or contradiction and think to ourselves, why is it there and why is it important? Now, I'm going to give you an example from an article and a reason why there is a contrast or contradiction. And the example is, because of our unique experiences, we develop different musical tastes and preferences. Despite these differences, there are some common responses to music. Now, the text says that there everyone has a different taste in music, but it also says that everyone reacts the same way to the same type of music. Now, the author used this contrast to get the reader to understand that with every different taste in music, there are similarities everywhere with humans. Now, I'm going to say two sentences and you will think to yourself which one you like better. Number one, some people like cats and other people like dogs. Number two, Although some people favor dogs over cats, there are others who enjoy cats more than dogs. Authors sometimes use contrasts and contradictions to elaborate their text. Now, using signpost one when I'm reading has helped me as a student because I think about the text when I see a signpost. I analyze the text to get my answer to my questions. Why is it there and why is it important? and I'm understanding the text more and realizing more about what the text is saying. Now it is time to rewind and recap. Okay, so contrasts and contradictions are when there is something written in an article or text that is different from what was said before. Some words we can find to see contrasts or contradictions are things like but, otherwise, even though, and alternatively. And some reasons why the author uses contrasts or contradictions is to get the reader to understand what the text is saying and to elaborate their text. And when we see a contrast or contradiction, we need to stop and think to ourselves, why did the author use a contrast or contradiction and why is it important?